And now we are learning that Israeli army has uh, said that it has fired artillery on southern Lebanon. So this is the breaking news that's coming in on the story that Israeli army claims that they have fired artillery on southern Lebanon. So this is the fresh update uh, that is coming in that the Israeli army after Hamas attacked uh, uh, Israel yesterday with over 5,000 rockets. Now Israeli army has said that it has fired artillery on southern Lebanon and uh, the Israeli Israeli Defense Forces uh, have said that the artillery is currently striking the area in Lebanon where, from where a shooting was carried out. And uh, this is the latest input that we are receiving. We have CNN News 18 Sadhan joining us to tell us more about this uh, 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 attack that is uh, uh, taking place. This latest update that Israeli army has uh, released. So that Israeli army says that fire, uh, it has fired artillery on southern Lebanon. Can you give us more details on this? of uh, of uh, Israeli army there were there were multiple factors involved in in yesterday's invasion now when I say multiple factors there are many non-state actors militant groups from Lebanon from Syria and in fact uh, now Israel is officially taking name of Hezbollah Hezbollah being uh, involved in with Hamas in yesterday's uh, invasion in the southern part of, uh, of Israel now, uh, you know, this is the reason that um, uh, uh, that under Operation Iron Swords, which has been launched by uh, Israel, now uh, it, it would not only be restricted to the areas of Gaza Strip or the settlements on the other uh, side of the Gaza Strip, the terror launch pads, but uh, obviously those terror launch pads have also been uh, destroyed uh, in, in, in the airstrikes which were carried out by Israeli Air Force uh, yesterday. But it is also going to escalate and perhaps has been escalated by Israel, where now Israel is also uh, targeting places in Lebanon, Syria, because Israel believes and, and, and they have uh, evidence to prove that uh, the, uh, there was there, there was attack from three fronts, uh, three fronts on the Israeli border. Uh, obviously, Hamas, then non-state actors in Syria, Hezbollah in, um, in Lebanon. So that is how uh, uh, the security uh, setup of Israel got collapsed. And in fact, uh, you know, I was speaking to some experts yesterday. This was the biggest fear of Israeli intelligence, that what will happen if there is going to be the attacks from the three sides. And that exactly happened yesterday, where three uh, non-state actors worked in Canavans, or even more, worked in Canavans to invade into Israel, uh, to create a state of anarchy, state of fear, killing, butchering people. Now, look at the videos. Those, those that cannot, that can never be the work of a professional army. The way they have, they have uh, right. killed people. They have butchered them. You know, uh, uh, they have made women uh, uh, parade naked on the streets. That can never be the All work right. of, of, of a professional army. So, Israel has understood it and this is the reason that it will go beyond Gaza Strip now. All right, Sadan, thank you so much for those details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates. Well, that's all for now, but news and updates continue here on CNN News 18.